redneck snack or laugh is too short to be serious. Dairy Queen delayed their fall menu for a couple weeks there. Or a week. I don't really know. It's been a week. Um, I guess shortages were the excuse. But whatever. We're here. We've got it. I'm going to lay it all out for you. So excuse me if this is a little long of a review. But I like to go through the fall menu. And I like to go through their seasonal, men seasonal menus. And just tell you all about it. You know, Tell you what's new. What you can get. Now, I don't think there's much other than the seven blizzards. That's a lot. And the, what am I trying to think? There's seven blizzards. Oh, and the milkshake. Um, so we'll just roll through those. Um, maybe after. Maybe after I review this. But we are here to review the new Reese's PC Cookie Dough Blizzard. I think it's going to be one of the most popular ones on the fall menu. So I went ahead and said, I'm going to review this. I really wanted to do the pecan because I know that's probably going to be the most popular reviewed. And you're probably going to see some reviews over the next few days from other people. But please tune in for my review. It, it, it's coming. I'm just busy. I got things to do. But just please tune into my review, even though other people will beat me to it. And while this isn't the most groundbreaking one, with it being cookie dough and Reese's Pieces, I still think it's going to be popular, and I think I'll get a good audience. So, that's why I'm doing this one before any of the other new ones. Yada, yada, yada. So, we'll break down the fall menu after we eat this, or, you know, eat a little bit of it so I can tell you what I think. And, uh, you know, and I'll give you my opinion on the ones I've tried, and I'll try and drop my links into the description for those reviews now they may not be anywhere as good as what i do now i mean I'm, i've grown a lot so there's that and i used to wear sunglasses so all my reviews you know prior to this year you know probably wearing sunglasses so if you hate sunglasses or you think that's awkward well just get used to it so is what it is before we hit there please smash that subscribe button like comment share this video and check out my instagram redneck snack so yeah there's a good really good look right now there you go so yeah this is composed of three things i hate when people park beside me especially when i'm far back from the grocery store because i'm in a grocery store parking lot like why well, you gotta park beside me fam i'm away from other people just park somewhere else anyways um three components Reese's pieces chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter peanut butter topping so yeah we're gonna go ahead and pose with this, I, I like this side of the blizzard because it says blizzard. And let's go ahead and try and make it look good. Don't think it does. I'm a little irritated, but. There you go. I mean, it is what it is. As long as it tastes good, that's what matters. I do like appearance a lot, but you know, sometimes you just gotta cut your losses. So here we go, fam. Okay, first thing you notice, we got a good amount of peanut butter. And then the cookie dough really adds that nice brown sugar um, flavor profile with some chocolate in there. And then that crunch of the Reese's Pieces. This one is just simply, it's easy to review. It's easy to just predict what it's going to be like. But I just want to reaffirm to you that this is a really good thing. You know, sometimes peanut butter can go wrong, can go south. But this is working. Yesterday, no, it's not been uploaded, but yesterday I went to Rita's and they had this Reese's Take Five Pumpkin Concrete. Well, you could probably mix all this stuff with the pumpkin blend in a blizzard. I gotta say, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I just thought it was weird. It was decent, but honestly, I'm gonna go try that pumpkin shape and then I'm gonna prefer that. I just don't think it would go well with pumpkin. But this right here, you got all the texture, you got the chewiness, you got the crunch, and you got the flavor, you know, you got the flavors right. I like to try weird things. That's why I kind of was very excited to do the Rita's Pumpkin Take 5 Concrete. But this is, um, this is more simple. It's, you know, simply, it's easy to enjoy. And it's got it all. It's got everything. Mm. It's just all the ingredients there. As simple as it is, you probably wouldn't go to Nairi Queen thinking, 
Okay, this is what I'm gonna order. Cause it's not. And I really like, you know, how different this is. Cause instead of, you know, putting some peanut butter cookie dough in there, you put chocolate chip cookie dough, which adds that dynamic. You know, there's no peanut butter in there whatsoever. And it's just a beautiful flavor that just, you know, paces along with the peanut butter. You know, I do give a lot of things from Dairy Queen a 10. I'm not going to lie. You know, you may be like, why do you give so many things a 10? But when it tastes this good and it's this dynamic, it's hard to not give it a 10. Now, they did have that Nestle thing. And I don't think, I, I can't remember if I gave that a 10 or not. I think I was underwhelmed by it. This is just delicious. So now you get the point. This is 10 out of 10. I've gone through. I've described everything to you. Now you can go. Unless you want to know what the fall menu is. Now I think I will try to put in the description too. That's what I did last time. But the title of this video is what it is. It is Dairy Queen Blizzard. Insert Blizzard here. And fall menu reveal. So I'm going to reveal the fall menu to you. And I may be pronouncing fall like I start with a V, but I'm rushing through it. So kind of mispronounce things. So anyways, seven blizzards. One of them is bound to be around past fall. Um, it's interesting, but we'll, we'll get to it. Their pumpkin butter uh, milkshake. It's like the it's pumpkin and cookie butter. That is back. I think I liked it a lot. But I don't think it was a 10 out of 10. Um, I, again, I think the review's out there somewhere. If it's not, I'll follow up on it. And I will do a new review. That's what I just, I, I do that. Um, so that's the milkshake. Then, for the blizzards, you've got pumpkin pie returning. You've got pecan pie. And those are the two blizzards of the month. I'm confident that they'll be around, you know, well into December. Um... But you've got those two. You got this. This is the Reese's um, cookie dough. That's three right there. Choco Choco dip strawberry. That's number four. Um, now I'm, just, I'm getting a little, you know, hazy on the rest of them. So we listed those four. Um, oh well, I don't want to list the royal one yet. So I've got two more that aren't um, that. So I named pumpkin, strawberry. Reese's. Oh, there's a new toffee fudge. It's like caramel. Well, I can't say it's caramel, but it's, so, it's sea salt caramel. Sea salt toffee pieces and fudge mixed into a blizzard. So you've got that one. So now I've listed five. There's supposed to be six. It's really, I, I thought I had all these in my mind, but I am drawing a blank on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and list, list the royal um, one. And then try, oh, nope, don't have to. The Oreo Mocha. Oreo Mocha Fudge. I've had it. I think it was really good. Um, and I got a review out there too. So I'll go ahead and drop that in the description. If I remember to, I'll do the dirty work and get all that out there. But those are the six, you know, official fall. Then they've got the Royal Ultimate Fudge Blizzard, which has like a fudge filling in it that from what i'm looking at i don't think it's been around since 2017 it was a blizzard of month a while ago um if you have any you know more valid information on that just let me know but i'm going to review that because i haven't tried it um and it's been a while since you know it's been you know, on the menu apparently but yeah so they got rid of the rocky road royal blizzard and replaced it with the ultimate fudge so that is just an announcement and that will probably be around past the fall menu and then it's probably pound to be replaced at some point they like to change it up so i wouldn't be surprised if a change comes to that now one of the things i noted that, that was pretty interesting i don't i didn't really keep track of the last year's fall menu but snickerdoodle has tended to be part of the fall menu um and I thought it was interesting that it was not on this menu. So I don't know if we're going to get it as a flavor of the month come December 
or November. I can't guarantee anything. Um, they typically like to do a peppermint flavor in December. So maybe January also could be considered. But I'm just concerned, um, you know, because they didn't do s'mores over the summer. And I am a very big proponent for s'mores being a fall flavor anyways. But it's not on this menu. It was not included in the summer. So I'm a little bit worried in a sense for Snickerdoodle, but also for s'mores. You know, there's the likelihood of both of them coming back is very low. Like it's near impossible. But we're going to have to pay, play it close, um, you know, play by ear, keep close eye on it, everything like that. And uh, hopefully the best comes from it. But again, I can't guarantee that we will see these flavors in 2021. Um, and of course, this year's definitely been better than 2020 for sure. But, you know, you, you got some bitter parts of it. And um, yeah, just thinking about that, it's it's a little sad if they don't do Snickerdoodle. That is a fan favorite, too. S'mores, I thought, was a pretty much a fan favorite. Um, so we'll just have to keep our eye on it. Hopefully, they do a winter menu. Typically, they do summer and fall. That's it. They do summer very early in the spring, and they do fall at the very end of the uh, winter. I'm sorry, at the very end of summer. So they don't ever really do a December well, you know, they don't do a winter. As far as I know, they don't. Um, no, I don't think they do. And I don't really remember when fall ends. I believe it fall, fall ends like December or January. And then they, you know, give their employees a little bit of rest. They'll do blizzards of the month. And then bam, like April, March, April, something like that. You get the spring menu. So I love to just dive in and describe all those things. I don't believe there's any new food. I saw the flame flower burger on the featured, so I don't know if that's something that you know comes around and goes. But if that's news, that's news, and there there you have it for that. But yeah, um, as I said, this was going to be a longer video, and uh, this took up over half the video, so it's good I saved it to the end for anyone that really cares. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to try some more things. I've got three more blizzards to try and potentially that shake. I'm going to keep my eye on other things, see if they do anything special. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued for sure. Maybe we will get um, Snickerdoodle at some point, but of course I won't be reviewing that. Maybe we'll get a dipped cone. Maybe eventually we'll get a chocolate churro <laughs> because that's been something they've been talking about um, ever since COVID happened was... Oh, this was supposed to be a flavor that was going to happen, but never did. So, yeah, that was my slew of things. That's uh, I've covered everything. I hope you're informed. I hope it helps you make some decisions. Anything that I haven't reviewed, it's coming. Just be patient. If you want to go watch someone else, okay, that's fine. But I'm always here. I feel like I've got a, a lot of nuggets of knowledge, a great mind, and hopefully you respect my opinion. And if you don't, it is what it is. But I laid it all down for you today. Anyways, that's my review and my reveal. And I'm sticking to it. I will see y'all around.